Good day everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how we'll use the scientific calculator in finding the values of our trigonometric functions. So let us have here our scientific calculator. Let us on here. And then you have to check if our calculator in a, is in DEG mode. There. It represents letter D. Okay. And then here are the functions. We have here the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. So getting now the reciprocal of these functions, you're just going to get the functions in terms of these three the primary functions and then you have to take the reciprocal so let me show you using the following examples so first i have here the first one is sine 30 degrees so how will you able to find the value of our sine 30 degrees so in our calculator you have to press the function sine so observe in our calculator that we have here, the sine function is indicated, and then you have to press 30. There. So we have here sine 30. And then to get its value, press equals. So we obtained one half. And this is a special kind of uh angle and we have discussed this that the value of sine 30 is one half then if we are asked in the learning task that we have to put our values into decimal you have to go into this part s to d so meaning you're going to put all our answers into decimal so press here so try to look at one half by pressing s to d we will get there 0.5 so therefore, let us put here, the value of sine 30 is equivalent to 0 0.5. Can you follow? Let us do the second one. So we have here the cosine 38 degrees. So please follow in using your calculator. So let us have here our AC. Then let us press our cosine function here. So check, we have here cosine, and then let us press our 38 here. So cosine 38 degrees is equal to, let us press our equal sign. So we will get 0 0.788. So let us write here, cosine 38 degrees has the value of 0 0.788. 8, 8. Okay? Next one is tangent 60 degrees. So in the tangent 60 degrees, let us have again our function tangent. And then press 60. Here, we have here tangent 60. And then equal sign. So in our special right triangle, we also obtain here square root of 3, but let us press our s to d function. So we obtained 1.732. Let us write here. So we have here tangent 60 is equal to 1.732. Alright? Now, I have here... A cosecant 60 degrees but we observe in our calculator that we only have the primary functions so what is the reciprocal of cosecant 60 so we need to proceed to our sine 60 so what we need to do is to get the value of sine we have here sine 60 and we will obtain square root of 3 over 2. So its value into decimal 
is 0 0.866. So getting its reciprocal, we're going to divide 1 divided by 0 0.866, the value of sine 60 here. So, to get the reciprocal, and we obtained by pressing equal sign. So, 500 over 433. Let us put this into decimal. Here, we get. So, we have 1.1. 1 .1 so, we're going to round off. If the digits that we have is more than 5, so we have here the, the third number that we have is 4, and then next to this is 7. If that is 7 and above, we're going to add 1. So we have 1.155. So here. So that is the process of getting the reciprocal. Now, the second part of our discussion is the reverse process. What if the angle is unknown and the function and the ratio is given? So, for example, we have the cosine theta has the value of 0 0.3746. So, let me show you in our calculator. So, what you need to do, let us have first AC. So, we have to press our ship in other calculator that is inverse. Ship, then the function cosine. And then the value, 0 0.3746. Okay? Did you follow? So, you press again the ship, then the function cosine, and then the given value of 0 0.3746. And then let us have our equal sign. Let us press so that we have here the answer. Now, to give our, the measure of the angle, we have this part. We have this symbol. So, meaning, this is degrees, minutes, and seconds. So, let us press this. So, in our answer, we have here 68 degrees, 0 minute, 1.47 seconds. So, let us have the degrees in terms of degrees. So, our theta is 68 degrees. Okay, now let us have the second example. What if our sine theta is equivalent to 0 0.725? So similarly, in our calculator, let us have first AC. So we have to press our ship, then the function sine, and then the value 0 0.725 here so ship sign the value 0 0.725 then press equals we have if in terms of degrees we have 46 degrees or 46 point that is around 47 degrees. So like this. Theta is equivalent to 46.47 degrees. But if we are asked to find for the number of degrees and minutes, so again, we have to press this part. The symbol for degrees, minutes, seconds. Let us press this. Here. We obtain the value. So we have 
46 degrees, 28 minutes. And that is equivalent to 8 seconds. So let us ignore the second part. So we have 46 degrees and 28 minutes. So that is our symbol. 46 degrees, 28 minutes. That is our value for sine theta. So if we want to check in our discussion or in our first discussion, we have the function sine. Then we have 46 point okay let's say we have the degrees 46 degrees 28 minutes here by pressing degrees and minutes and then equals so here we obtain 0 0.724 followed by 9 so that is rounded off to 0 0.725 and that is our given therefore the answer Theta is equivalent to 46 degrees and 28 minutes is correct. Okay, how about the last one? If we have tangent beta has the value of 1.258. So similarly, we have to press our shift. Then the function tangent. Sorry. And then we have the value 1.258. Shift tangent 1.258. Let us press equals here. So we have 51.52 if that is rounded off to two decimal places. But let us press our degrees minute and second symbols so press we will get here so this is 51 degrees and 31 minutes if the number indicated here is more than 30 or 30 and above you have to add one to minutes okay so therefore if we have 51 degrees and 31 minutes We have 31 minutes. So this is our answer. Beta is 51 degrees and 31 minutes. Well, I hope you learned in our discussion in using our scientific calculator in finding the values of our trigonometric functions. So thank you for watching. God bless everyone.